Hey everyone, my name is Gamer Cory, and welcome back to another Red Dead Online video. Now in this video, I am going to go over all the different ways to make gold here on Red Dead Online. I believe I've gotten all of them, and if I didn't, then please leave a kind comment down below letting me know if I did miss anything. I have grouped some of these together, so they might all be in like a, a category together. But these are the top different eight ways to make gold here in Red Dead Online, and I've ranked them from worst to best, especially before the new summer update comes out next week on September the 10th, just in case you guys need to make 15 gold bars before then, just in case you haven't completed some of the other things to get one of those professions completely for free. Now, coming in at number eight is going to be buying them. Now, as you can see here on the screen, I have not purchased any gold bars ever. I still have the one-time special offer for 25 gold at $4.99. Now, if you guys are really desperate and want to just buy them, you can get that one-time special offer if you haven't already done it. It will cost you $4.99 US money, but that is number eight on my list. Now, coming in at number seven is going to be resetting the awards. Now, there's a lot of different reasons why I put this actually at number seven. Uh, the first one being you only get 0.2 at normal rate times, and it takes a long time to get them anyway and complete all of them. And once you've done it 10 times in some categories, that's it. Then you can't do that category anymore. So that is only number seven on my list, and resetting awards is not the best way to make a ton of gold. Now, coming in at number six is going to be the free roam events. Now, free roam events are the ones that pop up every 45 minutes on the left-hand corner of your screen, and you're going to be able to join them. And I do have a list on my channel of the different times and what they're going to be every 45 minutes. So if you guys are just not doing anything on Red Dead Online and you want to participate in it, you can. But you can see right there, I only got 0.08 gold, and it, uh, it probably only took maybe six minutes i think it took a little bit longer to load into it wait the minute and a half to actually start the um free roam event and then actually get back into the free roam i said i think i spent more time than the actual free roam event itself now they are fun but you only get 0.08 and that's why it's on my list lower just because you don't make very much gold and we're all about making gold here and that was for second place 0.08 now coming in at number five is something that i very very much enjoy doing on Red Dead Online. And that is going to be the treasure maps. I love doing the treasure maps. However, I have to place them lower on this list just because they are extremely hard and rare to get. Now you do get one for every five ranks that you do complete. Obviously it's a little bit easier when you're a lower rank because you have less experience points to get, but you can make a significant amount of gold doing it. So it's kind of like that pro con type of situation going on with the treasure maps and you get a lot of money, but they're extremely hard to get, especially if you're just going to do the gang hideouts to actually get them. And that's, it's a, that's a lot of people to loot. And that's a lot of gang hideouts to find in order to just get them. So I can't place this very high on my list to make a significant amount of money and gold on the treasure maps. It's just not really a good way to do that. Now, coming in at number four are going to be the regular story missions. Now, these missions are completely playable at any time once you've completed them, and you're still going to earn money, gold, and XP for doing them. And you can try to see if you want to try to get gold for each and every single one of them. Now, I do like the kill them each and every one. I really don't know why. That's my favorite one. I just really enjoy it. It's really quick, especially with four people, and you're going to get... 0.16 gold and it really only takes you like five minutes literally the cut scenes as long as everybody skips it anyway um can go by very very quickly but you're gonna see uh it actually doesn't pop up for me but i did make 0.16 gold for completing the story mission i don't know why it never popped up for me but we did skip the end cut scene so i'm wondering if that's the reason why that happened but i promise that you do get the 0.16. I believe for the first time that you ever do it, you actually get a little bit of a bonus. Now, coming in at number three are the stranger missions. Now, I'm going to show you guys two different ways to actually complete the story missions, obviously, as quick as I can. Um, the first one is if you just, just rush and get it complete. Now, I'm going to show you guys here that this one we literally did super quickly, and we got $1.10 right there for a payout. And then you can you saw my gold just briefly. Now we're getting XP. We're getting some more money. More XP, but no gold. 
So that's if you take literally no time to complete it. We went from Black Bell to that, completed it. It was done. No gold. So not a good way to make gold. However, if you guys go to another stranger mission and wait for like the last 30 seconds to deliver whatever it is or complete the objective or whatever, or whatever the stranger wants you to do, then you can actually make a significant amount of money. However, it's not... It's still number three on my list, and I was debating on what orders to actually put them in. It does take about 10 to 12 minutes to complete one of these stranger missions, but you're going to see here in just a second that I make a ton of gold. I make 0.32 gold for taking about 10 to 12 minutes to complete a stranger mission with my friend, and my friend actually got the same thing. Not only that, but we got a ton of money and a ton of XP. Now, coming in at number two on my list is going to be anything showdown related now specifically what you guys were watching here in this video was the elimination mode which goes by very 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 quickly even if you're not good at showdown modes you can still make a decent amount of money now i was trying to remember before recording this video if it's currently double gold on showdown i don't think it is i think it was like 30 or 40 percent more xp but not gold so when they have more gold options PvP, even if you're not very good at it, is a very good way to make gold and money and XP, If even if you're terrible at it. And you can actually get a little bit better. Now, we do know that Rockstar is going to be changing a little bit of the combat and some of the PvP things going forward. But we don't know how exactly they're going to do that. So I'm putting it on my list as number two right now because it's a good way of still getting gold. Each showdown series, whether it's showdown large, elimination, horse race, uh, it could be like the regular ones like plunder, uh, overrun, anything like that. You guys can make good, good gold for not really taking a ton of time. It takes usually like that eight to 10 minutes, uh, to be completely honest. Um, it's something that can be fun. It can also be frustrating because of a lot of very high level players do play showdown modes. And I'm talking people that are like three, four, five, level 600 people. And I actually played in a, against a person today that was level 655. It was absolutely crazy. They got like 50 kills and three deaths. And it, it, was, it wasn't even enjoyable, to be completely honest. But here is a regular showdown. Or this is the elimination. And you're going to see I'm going to get at the point one six. I'm also going to show you guys two different other um, showdowns where I actually get point one six gold at the exact same time. And that was only for two gills, one death. And like I said, that took you like five minutes for that elimination. Here is the end of a uh, showdown large. I believe this was most wanted. I got 10 kills, eight deaths. And you're going to see that I got 0.16 gold as well for completing that one. So not too bad to get a little bit of cash to $12 or so. And then another one here, I got five kills and 10 deaths. I was not really doing anything, but I got 0.16 gold for that one. So that's why it's number two on my list. Now, coming in at number one, in my honest opinion, is and are the daily challenges. I love doing the daily challenges. I actually do them each and every single day. I recommend that you guys at least do a couple as well. They are a significant, a significant value, especially right now. If you've completed 21 days of a streak in a row, you're getting 2.5 applied. And at 28 days of continuously doing them, you get a free treasure map. So you can get basically my number five option for free without having to search anybody for completing 28 days. Now you only get that one time. So if you want to restart all over, you can, but I actually go over this every day in my, my, my videos with you guys, every single day I do daily challenges and I walk literally through them with you. And I don't typically do the PVP ones online, but I do record them every once in a while. And as you can see, I got one gold bar for that one. And now this is completing all of my daily challenges. So that was 0.16 for completing the um, showdown, but I'm also getting four gold bars because of my streak. And I completed all seven daily challenges for today, which is a great way to make a ton and ton of money. Like I said, I do do the, the daily challenges every single day on my channel. So if you guys want to follow along with somebody actually doing them, then I'm a great source for that. Most players that I see doing the daily challenges literally just show you guys locations where I actually go through everything besides PVP and showdown ones um, on online with you guys. So I show you guys the location of herbs. I, I show you the locations that I found, you know, whether it's coyotes or foxes or raccoons or muskrats or Virginia pot, whatever it might be, whatever the objective is for that day. I show you physically 
how and where I do it live each and every day. So if you guys do the daily challenges and need somebody to follow along, I definitely recommend that you can watch my channel every single day for that information. But anyway, this took me a little bit of time to create this video because I literally did do everything that was on my list in order to show this for to you guys today. So hopefully you guys did appreciate it. And hopefully I, you guys can get 15 gold bars before the update happens if you don't have currently 15 gold bars. I hope you did appreciate the video. And if you did like it or enjoy it in any way or found it helpful in any way, then don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. It would help me out a lot and is greatly appreciated. But until next time, YouTube, you guys keep doing what you're doing because you're already doing it. And you guys stay gaming. I'm <laughs> sorry.